the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I have seen a number of comments which included firstly opposing and then pledging to repeal the legislation passed to enable the filming of The Hobbit, even if it meant losing the films offshore. I have seen other comments which label the passing of that legislation as, in quotes, staggering, a day of shame and also a disgrace. I note with interest, though, that these people, who are loosely described by the media as Hobbit haters, have clearly changed their tune, with a number of their rank now attending the red carpet world premiere of The Hobbit in Wellington this afternoon. What reports has he seen about other potential productions we might see in New Zealand? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, a word has reached me of a drama that is currently playing out, which might be suited to the big screen, or perhaps go straight to DVD. In this particular performance, it's a very similar movie, the Fellowship is led by a tall, thinning grey wizard who surrounds himself with a loyal point legion of, order, of halflings. Order, point of order, order. Mr Speaker, this particular performance, the Fellowship is led by a tall, thinning grey wizard who surrounds himself with a loyal legion of halflings, sworn to protect him against a slimy, bearded creature hiding and plotting in the darkness, consumed by jealousy, relentlessly in pursuit of his precious. Their journey is made more difficult by the presence of a number of goblins, still loyal to their former leader, an all-powerful, all-seeing, all-knowing eye watching from a distance, roughly between here and New York. We are here, Mr Speaker, we are here to, due to hear more about the conclusion of this particular story in February of next year, but I understand it might be a little bit of a flop, because rather than giant eagles, the Fellowship have decided to put their faith in an elderly mallard. <laughs> Order.